Bears are a proud people, although they're not people per se. They're animals. Bears derive their name from a football team in Chicago. Bears have been known to attack man, although the fact is that fewer people have been killed by bears than in all of World War I and World War II combined. Brown bears love fishy. <clears throat> brown, brown bears love fishy. God, why am I having so much trouble saying brown? Maybe it's the two Bs and brown bears. Try something different. I got it. I'm ready. Okay. Red bears love fish. Pete, you're late for your meeting with Lawson down at K-Pip. Dev, we're in the middle of a recording session, so every fucking thing you say is going down on tape. Oh, right, like you guys ever care about that crap? Uh, okay, stop recording. Many of these animals are... Whoa, something's about to go down here. Oh, I can smell a good time on the horizon. Oh, that's it. Slice me off a piece and serve it up hot. I'm next in line. Hey! Because when we come back, we're going to find us some pygmy people. En route to Bill Calhoun's cabin, we had time to meet up with some of nature's most awesome creatures, Mr. Sea Lion. No matter how many sea lions are eaten each year by sharks, it never seems like enough. When a shark appears in the area, sea lions will leave the water immediately. Luckily, there are no tigers on shore waiting for him, or he wouldn't know what the fuck to do. A sea lion's main diet is fish, of which there are many different species. Here we see the puffer fish. Our best guess is that this fish inflates by sucking its balls into its stomach. This odd-looking fish is called wait, a squid. Can I just talk say one thing? Dude, give me, uh, uh, give me the fucking, uh, uh, please, give me please, the fucking please. microphone. Why is that pink thong running so fast? <laughs> Sorry. Dude, this is your show about sea lions, goddammit. But to get closer to these remarkable creatures, we put our driver, Danny Gutierrez, in a sea lion costume. Oh, Unfortunately, oh, oh. after only a few seconds, Danny was attacked by a shark. Oh, fuck! Oh, no, no, no! Leave him alone! No, get off me! He's my friend! Please stop it! To hook up with legendary tracker Gus Hayden, we encountered many jungle animals, including our furry relative, the monkey. Monkeys make up over 80% of the world's monkey population. Hundreds of ants are eaten each year by monkeys. Researchers believe that these numbers would be far less if ants were the same size or bigger than monkeys. <laughs> wow, look at that. Those balls are sensational. To a lion, these balls are called a sack lunch. Over here, we spot some South American gazelles. This gazelle is eating a flower. This lion is eating the gazelle, but he'll probably spit out the flower. These giraffes can't quit each other. I think it would be a good idea to tie your brand new jeans to their heads. That way, your jeans would get that distressed look. These birds are saying howdy to the zebra. Actually, they're not saying howdy. They're eating the shit out of them. If we held a microphone up to the zebra and he could talk like, you know, Mr. Ed or something, it would probably sound something like this. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Why don't you just shove your beak up my ass? Shocked us all. Apparently, the Bigfoot had been experiencing depression and hung himself. Forced to live like an animal in a cold, dark cave, I imagine any one of us would have done the same thing. Unlike that dude on fire at the peace rally, we sprung into action to revive the Bigfoot, but it was too late. It made me feel so crappy. And so ended our fantastic adventure, The Search for Bigfoot. Join us next week for a show about beavers. Hi, I'm Peter Galke, and this is Strange Wilderness, the ocean. Many words have been used to describe it, and now you can add one more, dangerous. Why? The shark. It was one year ago today that Danny was brutally attacked on this very spot by one of these killing machines. In today's show, we'll be taking a close look at this mysterious creature that should be named 
the asshole of the sea. Menacing and terrifying. The shark has been menacing and terrifying for over a decade. Sharks can only be found in two places on Earth, the northern and southern hemispheres. This shark is called a hammerhead because his head looks like a hammer. These sharks are attacking Nicole Ritchie. Yes, the shark is a, what the fuck? Look, man, look at that thing's teeth. Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>